So I'm standing now with one of Broadway's greatest leading ladies, a wonderful mistress of the theater, who is the star of Porgy and Bess, Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, Audrey McDonald. By the way, I've watched you for years and years and years. I've thrilled in performance after performance. I get a chance to ask you a question. Oh, okay, I'm scared. <laughs> How do you become you? And what I mean by that is, at what point in your own childhood do you and people who are caring for you understand that you have a very special gift and gosh darn it, you should do everything you can to develop it because it's going to be a gift that you then share with other people. At some point, this becomes real for you, Audrey. When does it begin to be real for you? I was raised by an incredible family and my mom and my dad. What were their names? Anna McDonald and Stanley McDonald. Are they still living? My mother is still living. My father passed on four years ago. But um, they instilled such a sense of you have to do the best that you possibly can. You have to work twice as hard as everybody else because you are female and you are African American. That was instilled in me. And um, I was a very emotional child who was very musical and they knew that. And so they said, all right, this is something that gives you joy and calms you down and gives you an outlet to express this crazy energy you've got. Use it and work hard at it. And you can pursue it as a career as long as you get an education. So they supported me, lock, stock, and barrel, everything I wanted to do, as long as I studied hard. If my grades ever dipped, I got yanked out of the performing arts things that I was doing. As soon as my grades went back up, you can go back in and work hard. Fascinating. Yeah, so they... So your all. parents care deeply about education for education's sake. Absolutely, absolutely. For them, because they grew up during the civil rights movement and before it, and um, education is to them a privilege. It's a privilege to have it, and so you must respect that privilege, and so that's, that's how I was raised. Tell me if this means anything to you. Okay. I am a Jew growing up in the 50s. Mm -hmm. The Civil Rights Movement has not yet even happened. Mm -hmm. My first hero in life is Jackie Robinson, and as a Jew, I related to the struggle that he championed. Mm -hmm. And for me, there was always a certain kind of cooperative venture in life Absolutely. between the struggle of the Jewish community to mm -hmm. fight anti-Semitism, to once again find its own feet after the Holocaust, Absolutely. and the black fight for their own dignity. Yeah. And I was proud of the extent to which the Jewish community was part of stood shoulder to shoulder in the civil, with, rights, movement. In the civil rights movement absolutely and as a result for me and as a jew being involved in a show with george the george gershwin one of the greatest jewish songwriters of all time history wrote, but then in a play that really is about celebrating an aspect of black american life mm -hmm. and seeing the relationship of two human beings, they're human beings, That's what's Corgi most and Bess, That's right. in a story of transcendence, mm -hmm. transcendence, and Audra, what you do with Bess is not to be believed, everyone has to come see you, but I want to know whether what I'm saying to you, and I don't mean to be presumptuous, but as I'm saying to you as a white American Jew, mm -hmm. Do you understand why this is important to me? Absolutely. To be involved in this, and and whether and when you hear somebody say, Jackie Robinson was, my, and I was privileged to know him. Oh wow! And to take his photograph that was published at the time of his mm -hmm. death. Oh, it was gosh. one of my great moments for me personally. I absolutely understand that because it's one of those things. I mean, what what's transformative about Borgie and Bess in and of itself? It's because it's about two human beings. Yeah. You can. You can project your own feelings and your own struggles onto both of those characters and then see how they work through it and then have an understanding of that and have your own cathartic experience with it. And so in real life we have that too. So you could see what Jackie Robinson went through and what he struggled through and, and see that in your own life and yes. see how he prevailed. You've traveled all over the world. You've sung all over the world, yes? Yes. Have you ever been to Israel? No, I want to go. Let's get you to Israel. I would love to sing I want you to be. I want you to sing some of the songs best does in Israel. I would love that. Let's look forward to that. Okay, all okay. right, all right. Audrey McDonald, the star of Porgy and Best, please make sure you see her. 
She is extraordinary, and you're an extraordinary human being. I have being. to tell you one thing. One of my jobs when I was at Juilliard, yes. one of my jobs was I was a, um, a ringer singer behind a screen um, at a temple. So I learned no how to kidding. sing in Hebrew when I was 19 years old. I do the Baruch Atay Adonai Adonai. Really? Yeah, I learned how to do it. One time you and I will try that. Okay. You're the best. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Marcus. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.